Hey everyone, how's it going? Scott here. Thank you so much for being here today. It really means the world to me. Thanks for taking time out of your busy day to make time for me and to talk about fragrances because I love all things fragrances and I know you all do too. So today's topic, as if you didn't know from the thumbnail already, is 10 fantastic masterpiece fragrances that are in my collection that I personally love. These are 10 out of 10 fragrances for me. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Well, first of all, before we do that, I just want to say I know my 10 are not going to be your 10, and by no means am I saying the 10 I pick you must love, and that's it. This is the final definitive answer of the best fragrances in the world, because that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying these are my favorite. These are my perfect 10 out of 10 fragrances that I love, and I do love them. And when I was sitting here doing this video, when I came up with the idea, I was trying to think of you know, maybe can I be clever? Can I, can I do some fragrances I haven't done in a while? Um, you know, some new additions that I have, maybe I can use those instead. But every single time, it just comes right back to the same 10 that I really love, that have a special place in my heart. And I'm not going to be fake. I'm not going to be dishonest. I'm just going to pick the ones I like, even though, you know, it might get some hate from you guys. But that's okay, because I want to know your 10 out of 10. If you don't like mine and you disagree with all of them, Go ahead and be brave enough and put your 10 down in the comments below. And let's see your list and let's see how bomb and fire your list is. And hey, why not? Because you might give me an idea or give me a suggestion or give some of our viewers some suggestions as well. So please put your 10 out of 10 fragrances down in the comments below. All right, without any further ado, here we go. The first one, I know all of you who have been watching my channel for a long time already are probably mouthing the words. That's right, it's from Zaharoff. Signature Pour Homme. Boy, do I love this fragrance. It's got a special place in my heart because when I started down this fragrance journey, it was one of the very first, it is the very first niche fragrance that I ever bought. I love this fragrance. Thanks to Ross over at TLTG Reviews and his amazing review. Thanks to his suggestion to pick up a free sample, the Zaharoff website. I went ahead and picked up the sample and boom, I ordered this immediately after smelling the sample because this was one of the most jaw-dropping, mind-blowing fragrances I'd ever purchased in my collection. Now, mind you, I haven't been buying a lot of amazing fragrances. They've been, been you know, the cheap designer fragrances like Aqua de Jo and whatnot. But when I got this one, it really blew my mind because it is so sexy and so seductive. And I just really love the lavender in here. The lavender mixed with that juicy, sparkling pear. Man, it's just so bright and so fresh in the top. But then you have that really nice, heavy base with the myrrh the frankincense, the sandalwood, the oud. It is so good and it is so clean. It's so crisp, but it's also so modern. And it also has this old school vibe as well. And uh, I really just think this fragrance is so fancy, but as you can see, I put quite a dent into it in it and I don't just wear it for special occasions like I probably should. I wear this all the time. This is an all year round fragrance. You can wear it anywhere, anytime for anything, but I just really think it is so amazing guys and it's so versatile i get eight hours on my skin and i get a really really nice scent trail a really nice scent bubble people are definitely going to notice you you don't need to overspray. you know just a few sprays is all you need but it is just so amazing so for that reason it's one of my favorite perfect 10 out of 10 fragrances it's a masterpiece for me well done george well we're going to stay in this house i love this house i love the man i love george zaharoff shout out to him I love Claude Durr, one of the master perfumers that works for George. I love their fragrances. So there's going to be quite a few on this list. So this one right here, this one is Signature Rosé. I absolutely love this fragrance. Guys, when I first got into this fragrance business, when I first got into this game you know, of reviewing fragrances, I had such a stigma about rose fragrances. I thought anything florals, anything rose was just for the ladies. Man, this one proved me wrong. This is so amazing. I love, love, love this fragrance. I did a really cool review. If I do say so myself, I reviewed this fragrance in the middle of a rose garden. Um, it was really, really fun to do. First time I've, one of the first times I've done, you know, a video on location, but it was so fun. And this fragrance is so good, guys. I'm telling you, it is so amazing. There's so much to love about this fragrance, Rosé. But the Turkish rose in here is beautiful. Of course, you've got the Bulgarian rose. And then you've just, you know, this fragrance just goes nuclear. If you're looking for a fragrance that does that, it goes eight 
plus, 10 plus, 12 plus hours. I, the first time I sprayed this, I was still smelling it two days later in the house. It's that potent. The scent trail is way more than arm's length. It's huge. You're going to get compliments. There's sandalwood in here. There's vanilla in here. There's beautiful jasmine in here. And then the sweetness coming from the sugar crystals. Absolutely gorgeous. A nice incense vibe going on with this fragrance. It's almost a religious experience if you ask me. So I really love this fragrance and I think you're going to love it too. If you're a guy and you've kind of sworn off rose fragrances, definitely give this one a try. All right, next one on the list is the Siren. I really, really love the process of this fragrance. I love that it was made by a YouTube creator, none other than Curly Fragrance. You know, Ross had one and then, of course, Justin Copeland um, from Stay For Us Productions. But guys, this one is so amazing. I love gourmand fragrances. I love fall, winter fragrances. And to me, this one encapsulates that. I love being lit in on the process by Zaharoff and the team of letting, it, letting us see what it would be like if we had our own fragrance and what that process was. Boy, did they really nail it with this one. I've already got too much of a dent if you ask me. Um, I really don't want to wear that one this much because this was just a limited time only and uh, you know they were never going to make this one again. But I do detect something is afoot because Curly, Ross, and Justin were all on the move and they all headed to Chicago. So who knows, maybe something cool and new is coming down the line. I don't know. I don't have any information for you, but who knows, maybe something cool is coming down the pike. But anyways, this one right here is a masterpiece for me because I absolutely love gourmandish fragrances. And what's not the love about almond, chocolate, coffee, you know, it's just got this cognac note in here that makes this so boozy and it's just so creamy and so rich and dark and mysterious. I love this. When I think of dark and mysterious, I think about the depths of the ocean, and that's where you'll find your lady siren awaiting to lure you in, and this fragrance lures you in. It is so good. I get about eight plus hours, and the scent trail is absolutely intoxicating. All right, guys, next on the list, I know we had three from the same house. What can I say? I love that house. If you've never heard of Zaharoff, please, please, if you're new to this channel, definitely check them out. The House of Argos. I absolutely love this house as well. You know, when it comes to Zaharoff and when it comes to Argos, their attention to detail for both of them is absolutely amazing. I say that in almost every video. But right here, this is a 10 out of 10. This is a masterpiece for me. This one is called Danae. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is so creamy. It's got a beautiful zesty lemon in the top that's just so gorgeous. It's got that sticky cystus. The patchouli in here is an absolute bomb. It's just so beautiful. The dry down is so sweet and seductive. And I just absolutely love this one. I love how this bottle sprays. It's got a pressure sensitive bottle. You've got the crystal on the cap up there with the um, Argos logo. So, so many things about this one. And the bottle, the bottle is so heavy. You know the materials they're using are not cheap. And this fragrance is just so good, guys. For me, this is the perfect spring um, fall winter fragrance. I think you can wear it in the summer as well. I just think it works better when the weather is a little bit cooler. So man, I love this fragrance. I wore it on my birthday when I went out to dinner in Las Vegas. It's so amazing. One of, one of, probably one of the top two in my collection along with this one. These are my two favorite in all my collection. But absolutely amazing guys. You get about eight hours on your skin, you get a big scent bubble, and this one is a compliment machine. Every time I wear it, I get compliments, and I absolutely love. I love the color of this juice as well. It's so rich and creamy, guys. Definitely give this one a try. Creamy, lemony, sticky cystus, just a beautiful vanillic like scent, and it's just so creamy, guys. I absolutely love this scent, and it just works. We're going to stay with the House of Argos. Another amazing fragrance. One of the first fragrance I ever bought from the House of Argos. I love this one, guys. This is Triumph of Bacchus. I love this juice. Look at that color right there. And, of course, this is one of the smaller bottles, guys. I think I bought this one for like $125. But Triumph of Bacchus is absolutely amazing. Now, I have a lot of you come in my comments and tell me that this is a clone or an inspiration. And maybe it is of Mansear's Red Tobacco. But I'm telling you, I own Mansear Red Tobacco. And side by side, there's no comparison. None. And I love, if you guys have ever seen any of my videos, I love Red Tobacco by Mansara. The ingredients are somewhat similar, 
but the way they come off the top is not similar at all and this one is more sophisticated this one is more artisanal it's just more smoother to me it's blended better uh, if you will i mean there's just something about this that's just so smooth and so rich and I just really, really love this one. It's so good. So I have them side by side and I definitely notice the difference and I don't think you know, it's redundant to own both of them. But man, this one is so good, guys. You're gonna have that green apple mixed with the, the white peach on the top. You're also gonna get this beautiful Tonka note and vanilla that just makes this a creamy vanilla. You've got a rum in here giving it this beautiful booziness, tobacco amber and of course sandalwood which is where the creaminess comes from this is one of my most favorite tobacco scents in my collection absolutely love it guys it is so good you've definitely got to give it a try you're going to get about eight hours on your skin and it's got a beautiful scent trail i'm telling you this is the perfect fall and winter fragrance all right next one on the list guys this one is from tuxedo this one is absolutely amazing what can i say guys this is the perfect quintessential boozy just sweet gorgeous creamy you know, just so sophisticated, a scent, the name says it all, YSL Tuxedo is a little bit hard to find, but if you can find it, please go ahead and get your nose on it or get a decant because it is so gorgeous, so sophisticated. This is a fragrance right here that gives you confidence. It just gives you confidence boost and you feel like a million dollars when you're wearing this one. I get about six to eight hours on my skin somewhere in that time frame. The scent trail is really good and you're going to get noticed. Like I said, it is a confidence booster. As long as you have confidence, this will help you know, take you to the next level. This one is so gorgeous. Next one on the list, one of my all-time favorites for the fall and winter. This is by Mason Francis Kirkjohn, Master Perfumer of Francis Kirkjohn. This one is called Grand Soir, guys. This is the ultimate amber scent. There's not a lot going on with this one, guys, but it is so gorgeous. You've got amber, vanilla, tonka, a little bit of lavender, some benzoin but it is just amazing. This is so warm and so cozy. It just envelops you like a warm blanket. You know, I just, whenever I'm wearing this fragrance, I just think about, which I don't get that much here in, the, in South Carolina, but I think about the snow coming down, sitting by the fireplace, watching one of your favorite movies, eating some popcorn, you know, just being on a date, wearing this at night is so sensual and so gorgeous and so creamy and just so warming. It's just, it's good guys, take my word for it. It's blended to perfection. You're gonna get about eight hours on your skin. Don't spray too much of this or you're gonna blow everybody out. At least that was my first experience. I oversprayed and man, they were smelling it throughout the whole building. So guys, this one will go a long way. It lasts long and it's got a beautiful scent trail. All right, we're sticking with another gourmand fragrance. Who would have thought? This is from the house of Lancome. When you think of Lancome, you think of makeup, right? Or you think of ladies. This one may be for ladies, but I think it's unisex. It's called Oud Bouquet, and it's a beautiful bottle. Look at this bottle. Look how gorgeous this is. Oud Bouquet is absolutely amazing. It is one of the best discoveries I ever made. One of my dear friends on Instagram, all the way from Paris, sent me a sample of this, and as soon as I got that sample, I went right out and started looking for this one, guys, and I knew that I had to have it. I absolutely knew. It's so good. They say there's oud in here, but it's not that medicinal, you know, overpowering oud. It's more like a sweeter, you know, softer oud, if you will. And then the praline in here, and it's just very vanillic. It's so good, guys. A little bit of rose in here. To me, this just screams fall and winter. I get eight hours on my skin, and it's just a nice, nice scent trail, guys. Very intoxicating scent trail. A perfect gourmand fragrance. To me, it's all about the vanilla in here. The vanilla is just absolutely amazing. I love this fragrance. All right, guys, getting down to the last two, we're gonna go with Today's Chanel Parfum. This one is absolutely amazing, guys. This is the quintessential fragrance. This does it all. It's very versatile. If you, if you are not a collector here and you don't think you need so many fragrances, I get it, I get it. By the way, to all those who are here and you have a huge fragrance collection, I'd love to know the amount of fragrances you have in your collection. Comment down below and let me know. I've got over 300, which isn't a ton, but I'd love to hear some of you who collect fragrances how big your collection is. You know, and I'm just talking about full bottles, not decants or samples. Let me know the number down below in the comments. I'd love to hear. But anyways, guys, if you just need one fragrance, one to do it all, this is it, Blue Day Chanel. I happen to like the Parfum. It is so good, guys, with that zesty lemon and that bergamot. You got that nice blast of mint, that freshness coming from the um, lavender, and then you've got that beautiful citrusy pineapple, nice and sweet. You've got that creamy sandalwood and just a beautiful cedar, giving it those nice woody nuances. I get about six to eight hours on my skin. You get a nice scent trail. 
It's so versatile. You can wear this anywhere, anytime, any place. Work, play, you know, weddings, uh, you know, black tie event. You can wear, you know, board shorts and flip flops with this. You can wear this anywhere. So if you're looking for that one fragrance that does it all, this is your workhorse, Blue Day Chanel. Absolute masterpiece, 10 out of 10 in my collection. Last but not least, guys, we're gonna go with Guerlain's L'Homme EDL, EDP, the ultimate amazing gourmand date night fragrance. If you love cherries, this is the fragrance for you. It is so amazing. There's a beautiful almond note in here. There's cherry, vanilla, tonka, creamy sandalwood. You've got these leather nuances. I get anywhere from six to eight hours on my skin. And man, this thing just keeps on pumping. It's got a beautiful scent trail that'll go across the room, in my opinion. This is the perfect date night fragrance. So sensual, so seductive. One of the, one of the first uh, fragrances I bought during the pandemic because of Jeremy Fragrance, and I absolutely love this one, guys. So there you have it. Those are my top 10 magnificent masterpiece fragrances, 10 out of 10s. Let me know your 10 out of 10 collection in the comments down below. If you'd love to be a part of my fragrance family, I would love to have you. It doesn't cost anything. I'd love to have you on my journey, for one, because I like learning from you guys. And there's so many of you who know so much about fragrances, so it's amazing. Just hit that subscribe button down below, and we can be friends. You can be part of the family. Hit the bell notifications off to the side so that these videos will get in your feed, guys. And I hope wherever you are, you're finding peace and happiness. And I hope to see you in the next video, which I'm sure I will. Until then, peace, love, ciao.